Uh, welcome to the first day, the start of my 90 day um, two stone challenge. It's 90 days until I next go on holiday. So um, I've decided I'm going to try and uh, lose two stone <laughs> in 90 days. Um, we'll see. I have a um, uh, some experts helping. I've got a, a, a British and Welsh champions bodybuilding and bikini model for um, my diet plan and my personal training. I've got um, a fridge full of healthy food and I've got a company who are supplying me my macros in my, my food ready to go. I'm going to train and weigh and eat clean every single day, apart from the days I don't. So let's um, let's let's see how it goes. I'm gonna head over to the car and actually I need to brush my hair too because it's stupid. So I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit. So I'm just setting up, I've just set up my new car mount. Um, it's one of those suction cup affairs that puts the camera uh, up on the windscreen, which is much safer than trying to um, <laughs> hold the camera in your hand while you drive. It's never a good idea. And um, head to the gym and get, get some shit going on. Beautiful morning, it's 8 a.m. So um, yeah, let's cook it. Let's cook it. What the fuck am I talking about? This morning session is going to be um, quite a lot of uh, legs and back. And uh, oh, I need petrol, it seems. Uh, that's my range. Oh, I'm fine. One of the perks of having a hybrid is it's uh, rather good on petrol. <laughs> One of these Lexuses, which um, it uses, it just sips at petrol and uses batteries as often as it can, so it's quite clever. Speaking of batteries, Red Bull powers activate. Yeah, 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 I know, Red Bull's gonna kill me, whatever. Sugar free, it's got no calories. About the same caffeine as a cup of coffee or something. And I've been drinking it since forever, so. What a morning. So, um, yeah, so I've got um, Helen Derbyshire, who is a, a bikini model and a, um, an all round, um, she's just incredible. She, she looks amazing, she she's, keeps winning awards. She struts around on um, on the stage in a bikini and beats everyone at being the best <laughs> at wearing a bikini. Which, um, from my point of view, is on the one hand you kind of think, oh, really? Do you have to show yourself off like that? But on the other hand, you look amazing. So I want, you want, you know, if I looked like that, I want the whole world to to, to see because people say, oh, it's just genetics, and I suppose you know a lot of a lot of how we look, our appearance, is genetics. Uh, yes, sorry beeping. That, it beeps if I go one mile per hour over the speed limit. But here it thinks the speed limit is like a walking pace. I don't know why the sensor goes off. Um, yeah, so, you know, appearance is genetics, but also effort and sweat and training and eating clean. You have to sacrifice a lot of the things that society says we should do, that says as a part of being in one of the richest countries of the, in the world, you know? You, you can't eat all the good stuff, you can't, well, the nice stuff, you can't laze around playing Xbox all day, you have to put work into that, and, and you, pr you can be proud of that and show it off, so, uh, you know, it, it, <laughs> if, if I could be a bikini model, I'd do it in a heartbeat, so, yeah, go figure. Like most people who, um, yeah. Oh, you shouldn't be shown off your body, have some dignity, fuck off. You're just jealous because you can't do it. <laughs> so, you know, we've all got bodies. Why, why, what, why is, 
it's some sort of it's some sort of um, religious baggage that we have. So we should all be chased and hide our skin. Bullshit. I hide my skin because it's gross, not because of any uh, anything. But if, I, if, I, if I looked great, get the pins out. It is a gorgeous morning. It's absolutely beautiful out. The um, temperature is only 14 degrees, but uh, it's really sunny and clear. Speed bumps. One has to wonder why I'm driving to the gym on a day like this when I could just walk to the gym and back and ta-da! It's my calories done for the day. But So the way this plan is going to work is my morning routine is strength training. Um, it's bodybuilding. I'm doing the same routine, more or less, that, you know, Helen does and my coach, Sammy, Sammy Bradley. She's um, the Welsh bodybuilding champion. I know, right? How cool is that? For a personal trainer, bodybuilding champion, get in. So um, yeah, so I'm basically doing the same sorts of exercises that, that, that the champions do, that, that people who are, you know, but <laughs> make a hobby of having a fantastic looking body. So um, I, I've learned in all aspects of life, if you want to succeed at something, find out what people do who are good at it and, and, and emulate that, which means supplements, it means training, it means a strict routine, and so far it's worked, it's worked really well. So now it's time to step up the game and um, tweak every every macro, every calorie, every gram of everything I eat, train harder, and we'll see. 90 days, 90 days, 28 pounds, can it be done? Hmm. I'm going to try it out. So today, yeah, this morning is legs, some back, some biceps. Quite a long session on a, on a Sunday because it's, um, it's a big session. And then tonight I'll come back down and I'll just do my cardio. I'll do an hour or two on the treadmill. Um, I'm doing a 10k. I'm doing two 10k's this year. So I'm uh, preparing for them and trying to not just <laughs> not just walk around like I did on the half last year. We're nearly there. To all the Pokemon players, by the way, that's a, it's a Pokemon stop. The Pokemon, the, the gym is right next to a Poke stop, so you can uh, get lots of Pokemon, and eggs, and uh, Pokeballs, because you know, Pokemon. That's relevant. Quite like in this camera mount. Camera's in a great angle. Well, it looks like it's in a great angle. We'll see how how how. Uh, how great it is when I play the footage back and I've got ten chins. Or just one really big fat chin that looks like I've got a goiter. It's a good word, isn't it? Goiter. It's like gunt. <laughs> Gusset. Words begin with G. Goat. Ah, is the red bull kicking in? Oh, maybe not. I don't know how long caffeine takes to get into my system, but... Uh, just the, the, the enormity of how much weight I'm going to try and lose in the next couple of uh, months. I'll, um, I'll get, I'll get um, Sammy, my coach, has agreed to come along and train and maybe we'll film on some days, so that's going to be fun. So here I am. I am at the gym. And it's a nice day and it's really quiet. There's nobody here. It's lovely here in the mornings because you get the place to yourself and you can get on everything and it's all good. into this nice little parking space. One of these things that you forget with modern cars is um, you don't use mirrors anymore. You just have this, this like satellite view. And um, it will even park for you if you wanted to, but uh, to be honest, I could go in, do my workout, come out and the car would still be trying to park itself. It is so slow. <sighs> yes, there's a car behind me. It's like, oh my god, cars! I know, it's a parking space, it's supposed to be a car. 
Right then, so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to get sweaty. I've got an eyelash. What's going on? I'm going to get sweaty and um, I'll see you guys when we get back. <sighs> so, um, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's done. So, uh, can't feel my ass or my legs. <sighs> Everything hurts. Now, even though this wasn't a PT session, I trained myself. Um, because of I have I have regular PT sessions, you sort of take you take, and, they, and, and a good PT will push you really hard. It'll push you beyond your yeah up to and beyond your limits, and so you take that with you in, in your personal sessions. So um, yeah, yeah. Today was glutes mainly. I did a little bit of just supporting stuff too. I did a bit of uh, some squats just to remind my my quads where they are. But, um, Hard. So it's still a beautiful day, and uh, yeah, time to go home to the sea. So having a gym by the sea is quite nice. Apart from in the winter when it's windy and, and really, really cold, but the um, in the summer it's lovely. It's warm. The weather's quite clement. Is Clement a word? I know inclement is a word. They use it in America quite a lot. The weather is inclement. But is Clement, is, is the opposite of, of inclement, Clement. I don't know. <laughs> I'm fucking knackered. Oh, wasn't a particularly long session. Um, about an hour and a quarter. Um, did some... So here's the thing, um, Helen Derbyshire, I'd never done this before, and the, the plan I'm on, it's like a fierce and fit thing that she does. And something I've never done before, and yet it's so obvious when you start doing it, there's something called activation. Now in the past, I'd always just got stuck in, you do a bit of a warm up, and you um, start lifting some heavy tin around, you know? But with bodybuilding, um, because you're isolating, you're focusing on specific muscles rather than compound movements which is what I was used to with, with, with powerlifting and crossfit it is very important that you're targeting the right muscle and so you do an activation stage where you just do um, uh, like a warm-up that exercises the muscle area that you want to work in so because I was working a lot of glutes this morning you start off by doing donkey kicks and leg raises and some crab walks all of which make your glutes hurt a bit. It's not, it's not like a brutal thing, but you know, you're, then, you're then aware of where your glutes are. Your glutes remind you and say, oh, hey, it's me, I'm, I'm barely gonna do some stuff today. So then when you start doing the heavy lifting or the, the high repetition um, uh, resistance training, because you've activated those muscles, you're aware of them, and it's so much easier to get your technique right because well, if it's, if it's hurting in the right spot, you know you're doing it right. So yeah, activation, and I do that every time now, it makes it so much easier to, um, to target the right spot. I'm really hoping this audio comes out well. I've, I've, I've always used the tie mic in the car before, but this new car seems very, very quiet. So I'm hoping the audio comes across well. So I'm not using the, um, the rifle, I'm just using the Leica, the uh, Panasonic. window mount so we'll see how that comes across although I'll be switching from this camera soon it's a little bit too big for the window mount because it's actually a camcorder which I hadn't used to be honest with you this is almost my backup camera but since um, I loaned this camera to to Helen as it happens and she got some really good results for it so I've been using it myself now for the rest of but I'm going to switch to the small compact 4k for the for this camera because um, it's a smaller it's easier. So I'm heading home, I'm going to have a shower, because I'm smelly, and um, then I've have, I have a food delivery coming later, from Desco. Um, then I'm going to start work, so at home I'm working on a new studio, I've been recording in the dining room, <laughs> I know right, but I'm, I'm converting one of my um, spare rooms into uh, a recording, um, video, video studio, I say studio, 
bloody bit of better songs are going to be recording lots of crap. So I'll do that later. I might do a, might, might film a little bit of that. Because, you know, me tidying up the house is the most interesting thing you could ever watch, right? I quite like this. I'm sort of driving. I can see why that Jim's Corbin show was so popular. You could just drive around and talk hot shit into the camera and see how it goes. It's quite conversational. It's like I'm chatting to myself. I am chatting to myself. Oh god, I've lost it. Does anybody watching this? Why? Oh then again, what are you what? Maybe it's interesting, <laughs> maybe maybe just watching somebody drive around in their car jogging shit at the camera. Scratching their ear, maybe, maybe that's interesting to somebody. Who don't know. Video blogging is the weirdest thing because you just talk about stuff, you talk about your things. This whole social media explosion where we've suddenly made ourselves into Z list celebrities, where we suddenly we just talk nonsense and people inexplicably find that interesting. That's so weird, right? Choo choo trains. Why do we still call trains choo-choo trains? Most of us can't even remember the last time we saw an actual choo-choo train. See? More cod shit. I was on TV this morning. I don't want to cut the corner, you divot. Um, yeah, Steve Dixon off of Sky. I've been on Sky. <laughs> My tweets have been read out on television quite a lot lately. Mostly Sky. Although I actually got read when I got a... I got a, uh, a tweet read out on the BBC as well the other day. My tweets are famous! Oh my god! I wonder if anybody's going to be playing Pokemon Go in two months. Or it'll just be that thing we did back in the summer of 2016. <laughs> Incidentally, my hair isn't normally this orange. Well, ever this orange. It's just that, um... I'm, I'm going back to blonde from a sort of brown and um, in order to raise it they've had to bleach my hair um, but, and it's gone, I kind of look like a bottle of tango at the moment so um, I've been assured that in a couple of more treatments it'll become blonde and, and less orange let's hope eh? because at the moment I get people taking pity on me because I think I'm ginger I don't want your pity <laughs> so weird. And here we are, back at the ranch, with my Red Bull. Good, so that's, um, yeah, that's my AM gym trip. Um, back here again, well, I'll be back here for the day, but I'll be back at the gym later for some cardio. And that's pretty much how the next few months are going to go. Let's, um, yeah. It's, it's going to be weird recording this and putting it out there all the time, but, I, but I'm thinking one of the best ways to... Um, you can't even see me. Where's, my, where's the light gone? Can you see me? So I think one of the best ways to stay on track is to put this out there all the time, to, um, you know, to record this daily and track my progress every day and we'll see how the weight goes. And um, fingers crossed. Two stone, 90 days. Let's see how we go.